In this cell, your biggest enemy is time. You drown in a sea of it. And you think, and think. In those first days, my mind drifted to what was happening outside. It's Wednesday, you know. I wonder what my wife is doing. What projects are the guys working on? Is anyone talking about me? Or have they all just moved on? The remorse and regret are constant companions. Over and over again, you remember that you've stuffed your life up. Reputation, family, friends, colleagues, all lost in the blink of an eye. And the guilt of the hurt you've caused is like a heavy weight that stays on your shoulders. I'll admit, there were days when I felt that all hope, all reason to continue had gone. I'll never forget the first time I was visited by Greg. I remember thinking it was strange that someone I'd never met wanted to come and talk to me. Up until then, I'd gotten pretty used to people wanting to distance themselves from me. In prison, you do everything you can not to draw attention to yourself. Don't tell jokes. Don't tell your story. Don't look people in the eye. But here, in these chairs, I could talk, I could laugh. I could share my regrets and talk openly about my failures. And it was met with kindness and friendship. Greg told me about himself. And in doing so, he told me about Jesus. I later learnt that close to a thousand volunteers, men and women, are visiting prisoners, running programs, playing sports and leading Bible studies through prison fellowship. Prisoners like me have been profoundly impacted by this ministry. Through it, we've grown in character. We've taken responsibility. We've built self-control and we've expressed repentance. We've come to understand grace and forgiveness. And hope is powerful. It brings life and light to your soul. I found hope here and it grew within me. I learned dependence. I learned to pray, really pray. I found myself with a peace that was totally at odds with my harsh and miserable situation. The gap between prison and the real world beyond the gates can be very daunting. You're asking the big questions again. How can I stay out for good this time? Is there anyone who can help me? Will I get a job? Can I restore those relationships? To have Greg and the others from Prison Fellowship to be there to help me bridge that gap was everything. Inmates are just like everyone else. They need purpose. They need grace. They need healing. They need someone to offer hope.